Today I'm going to show you how to connect to zero using the coefficient add-on. If you do not have a coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, then you just go to extensions, coefficient, launch. And once this sidebar is loaded, we're going to go ahead and click on import from, and then we're going to want to scroll down till we find zero. So if you have some already connected, you've already been using it, you already have some connected there. So it may be under suggested sources. If you do not see it there, click on see all sources. So to connect, we're going to click on connect and then authorize to authorize that connection. And so it'll come up with here. We'll click continue. And then once it pulls back up here, we're going to click on start from scratch. And then we can choose the object or report that we would like to use. We could do invoices, contacts, quotes, purchase orders, and so forth. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and get invoices. And then if you have any headers or parameters you want to add, you can add them here. You can see the different statuses there that you can add. Otherwise, if you're good to go, you can go ahead and click preview. And then you'll see those transactions there. So you can select or unselect the columns that you would like to use. And then once you're good to go, one more option you can do here is a limit on how many that you want to come through. And then once you're good to go, you can go ahead and click import. And now it's importing the data from zero into your Google Sheets. Once it's done importing, you'll have this option to auto refresh the data. And so you can select an hourly, daily, or weekly schedule if you like. Or if you don't want to set that up right now, you can click not right now. And then you can always set that up later using edit here on the refresh schedule or clicking the slider. You can also edit the query parameters or the fields that you want to bring through. And then anytime that you want to refresh the data, you can simply click on this refresh button at the top of the tab. All right, that is it for today. And I hope that helps you to see how quick and easy it is to import data from zero using the coefficient add-on. 